What up, y'all? This is Sean Christopher here, back again for uh, video blog number two on drjays.com. I'm here right now, chilling in a condo in Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, I guess what I'm talking about right now is like, people always ask me, like, what's, what's the difference between this project and projects that I've done in the past? And I think this one is a lot bigger. Like, everything's bigger from like the beats to the actual concepts of the songs to like even where we recorded it. I think, you know, a lot of the places that I recorded in the past, I recorded in my, my crib, I, I recorded like different like fixer up studios with my friends, but like this time around, we were in like million dollar studios and I actually just left Tree Sound Studios out here, which is like world famous. And which, you know, it's a blessing to actually work there. Shout out to Groove Chambers who let me use his room. You know, thinking back, I was like, I was like, man, I'm talking about like, one of my favorite songs on the album. It's, it's really hard to think of, to just pinpoint one song. Um, like, Catch If You Can is, is, is really big for me because what it's done for my career and what it's going to continue to do, it's like, that's my biggest single to date. And you know, just being able to hear that song on the radio, and you know, it's, it's crazy. Like, my mom called me when she heard it on Power on Six out of Los Angeles. Like, that's just amazing to actually have a song on the radio. Like, I used to, like, take the bus with my walk band listen to Power 106 and now they have a song on Power 106. It's like, you know, it's crazy. Um, I think one of my favorite songs would have to be a song called uh, Be Famous. You know, where I kind of talk about how, you know, there's, there's a, a big difference between, between being like rich and being famous and how you know, I really want to choose to be rich and not, and not the fame because you take a piece of your privacy away. Um, and I think a lot of people can relate to that song and I think it's a song that people really wouldn't expect to hear and it's actually like the first song on on the album. The things that hold dear to my heart in the album is that there's a uh, spoken word that I do myself on. A lot of people know that's how I started. I used to do spoken word in different places in Los Angeles, especially this place, you know, the, the poetry lounge we like to call it. All my friends would get dressed up and be suited out there and go to Fairfax and hit the poetry lounge. And, I would do spoken word poetry. So before anybody ever heard my raps and shit, they would hear my spoken word. And I have yet to put that into my projects. And so, you know, when I told my homeboy Evan I was gonna do like some spoken word poetry, he was like, you know, like, dope. Like, you know, that's how he first heard me a few years back. So, you know, every song means a lot to me, but the actual spoken word poetry in the album, man, it's just like, I think it just raises the bar and puts it in another league. So, you know, you get great albums, you get great songs, but the actual spoken word within it is what's really gonna um, let people understand where, where I wanted, where I was trying to take the album, where I started. So, you know, hope you guys appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? This is Sean Chris signing off. Peace.